Well, I'm sorry if we sound callous, but I'm afraid we didn't like Bentham. It was total misery. Spattered the visitors, smelled of boiled cabbage. Yes, sir. And his death really hasn't increased his charm at all. Jones? Right. Mr. Toby, Mr. Toby, uh, last night you told me you were... I was taking the dog out for a walk. Well, slash. <laughs> and uh, I heard these cries. I came running round the corner. And there was poor Uncle Ben. You know, awful. You saw a grey horse riding away? Well, yeah, I did, yeah. And you say the rider had no head? Oh, God. Uh, well, yeah, um, he was a bit, um, headless. And as your uncle died, he said the name Geoffrey. Toby? I might have misheard that, I, you know, because he was on the ground. You know, I, I don't know, really. And, um, Geoffrey. Is there a Geoffrey in the family? Well, I, I can't think of a Geoffrey, can you? Is he? Geoffrey. No, we, we, there's a Rupert in, in Norfolk. Mind you, he's, uh, he's pretty dead as well, isn't he, Betty? Hmm. There's a mark here. An arc of a small wheel, presumably attached to the bottom of these bookshelves. So sharp, he'll cut himself. Priest's hole. May I? Whoa. Headless horseman riding a grey horse. Called Geoffrey. Geoffrey de Ketville, 1605 to 1645. Well, he's been dead 400 years. What happened to his head? Uh, he lost it at the Battle of Naseby, charging cannon. Another damn fool. His family is a procession of idiots through the ages. But why your reluctance to share this fascinating piece of family history? Well, there's this damn silly family legend, isn't there? Whenever Geoffrey's seen riding around on his horse pointing at someone, it means that someone's going to die imminently. There's a lot of um, funny stuff going around here of late. No, there's not. Well, I saw the, the lady of the lake and, and I heard the chap in the cellar. You did not. I did. This place is chocker with ghosts. It is not. It is. Ludo. Excuse me, if we could just stick to the point for the moment. Has this horse thing ever actually happened before? Has the myth ever become the reality? <laughs> And that young man was? That's my son. That's Simon de Ketville. And his particular problem would be? A few years ago, Toby's first wife, Angela, was killed in a riding accident and Simon was with her. And he got this idea that there was a headless horseman involved. So we shoved the painting in there to stop it upsetting him. But he's going to get a lot better, you know. He's... When his mind can cope. You know, he's, he's going to get a lot better and uh, he's going to come back to us, you know, just like new, right as rain. You really mustn't let it get you down, darling. I don't.